the basis for this session is given in the above i button go and check it out now we'll see what is surface energetics surface energetics which comes in interfacial phenomena chapter what it says it says there is a derivation for that consider a rectangular wire whose lower part is movable take a rectangular wire whose lower part this part is movable you can move this part of the wire let's say it has a b c and d these are the coordinates for that consider a rectangular wire whose lower part is movable now take this rectangular wire and dip this rectangular wire in a soap solution if you dip this wire in a soap solution what you will get you will get a thin film of soap within this rectangle you have to dip this rectangular wire in a soap solution you will get a thin film of soap within this rectangular part now pull this lower part which is movable to this distance let's say i have displaced this lower part to a distance of small d and now consider the length of this lower part of the wire is l i repeat once again take a rectangular wire okay, whose lower part is movable dip this wire in a soap solution you will get a soap film here now pull the lower part to a distance small d consider the length of the lower part of the wire which is movable is l now what happen when you pull and leave it this wire will again go back to its original position don't pull with so much force that that film which is there it should break no it should not break okay just pull it to stretch that film pull means you are applying some force here okay you are applying some force you are applying some force to pull that wire we will see what is the up, uh, force which is pulling that wire upside okay there is a some force which is acting opposite to your applied force that is the reason why you want to apply force and pull the wire down okay there is a some force which is acting opposite to your applied force we will see what is that force that force is what is there here here you have film of soap what that film contains water molecules as well as soap molecules so water molecules will have attraction between each other assume these are the water molecules water molecules will have attraction between each other we call that as cohesive force cohesive force water molecule will have attraction between them we call it as cohesive force the water molecules which are present here they are pulling the wire upside why the water molecule which attached to the wire to a length of l it is been pulled by water molecules which are present above the water molecule which are been attached to the wire so this water molecule which is present here is been attracted by water molecules which is present here so same this water molecule again is attracted by water molecule which is present here so this continues it means what cohesive force is pulling the wire up and you are applying some force to pull the wire down so finally what is the opposing force opposing force is cohesive force or you can say surface tension surface tension is direct resultant of your cohesive force so surface tension acting along what length of the wire as we have many water molecules here which is attached to the wire these water molecules are being pulled by water molecules present above them which are there in the film so surface tension acting along the length of the wire multiplied by l surface tension acting along the length of the wire now this film has two surfaces as you dip this rectangular wire in the soap bubble film assume my hand has rectangular wire you dip this in a rectangular dip, dip, dip this in a soap solution now there is a film here 
which has two surfaces surface which is here as well as surface which is down this film has two surfaces that what i am representing this film has two surfaces above and below so surface tension acting along the length of the wire surface tension acting along the length of the wire which has two surfaces so i am multiplying it two so what is the net force this is the force you are applied to pull the wire down and this is the opposing force what is that surface tension into 2l this is the opposing force which is pulling the wire up now we'll see what is surface energy what do you mean by energy or work done is equal to force into displacement so this displacement is this one you have pulled the wire and displaced the wire to a distance of small d now what is force here force is we already derived the equation for force that is surface tension acting along the length of the wire which has two surfaces so work done is equal to substitute this equation surface tension acting along the length of the wire which has two surfaces multiplied by displacement now length into displacement can be written as change in area so work done is equal to surface tension into change in area you are pulling the wire and you are changing the area of the so film which is there in the rectangle that what i am representing here so finally surface energetics can be written as g we call it as g surface energy of a film is equal to surface tension multiplied by change in area now we'll see whether this equation is correct or not because i told you previously whether the equation is correct or not you should know about their units okay we'll see about their units what is work done work done is we'll see we'll take this equation we'll see whether it is correct or not okay work done is force into displacement centimeter the units for work done is dynes into centimeter what is units for surface tension force sorry that is force surface tension is equal to force per unit length means force means dynes unit length is centimeter what is remaining here change in area what is units for area centimeter square so square and centimeter will get cancelled dynes centimeter and dynes left hand side and right hand side are equal so this equation is correct this is called your surface energetics